Hey Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo. Welcome back to the channel. Um, this is going to be a short and sweet reading tonight um, as my allergies are not giving way. Um, so yeah, if you are new, please do click like, share, and subscribe. If you are a returning subscriber, hello and thank you. This is a Virgo channel for Virgos only, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. But obviously you don't have to be a Virgo to listen. And if you want to get a personal reading with me, links are in the description box below this video. Yeah, so okay, let's take a look and see what messages are coming out here for you for March. What messages are showing up here for Virgo for March 2023. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, all right. All right, so Virgo, you've got union, a serious relationship, marriage, partnership, coming into union with someone, which is lovely, in March. You also have home, okay, so, right, um, somebody's moving in with another person in, um, in March, absolutely, or actually going to become engaged or get married it doesn't have to be you or and a person if you don't have anybody this is just an energy of messages that could be buying a house or a married couple that you know are buying a house um, or this is you right it could be you so you just have to let that play out um, okay you also have you can't pick it up you have young male sporty cars youthful okay um, let's see fun times with a young male okay could be a friend hanging out with your son grandson um, this could be dating someone who's younger than you okay going to concerts um, a party or an event in um, March this could be you as a young male you could be a young male just getting back out there and going out and having fun with your life in March especially getting the party started <laughs> okay so we've got long distance here all right let me see so there's definitely either a long distance relationship that you are in or coming into in March um, and you know what I just want to get a second card for that what is going on with a long distance some of you might be traveling going somewhere in March get trips booked um, maybe just taking a road trip or going on the water because there is a boat there all right let's see tell us more tell Virgo more about the long distance what's going on with this long distance thing okay wow a whole bunch of cards popped out okay all right some of you are taking a short business trip that's far away in March all right that's definitely gonna happen um, you could be connecting with a younger female as well, or you are a younger female. Um, hmm. And some of you have a fling. <laughs> you have a you have a fling, a short term fling with someone who's at a distance. You might be experiencing this also in March. It could be with a young career uh, female, or that's you. Okay. And you also have, and I am going to get into the tarot cards if I don't start sneezing. Um, wow, friendship and dating. Okay, this looks interesting. So Virgo, it feels like you're you're going to be um, maybe dating one of your friends. I feel like that came out yesterday. But there's definitely an energy of like going out with friends, being with friends. And then there's possibly someone in your friend group who's interested in you. Maybe they're connected to your friend group. And it feels like wants to date or will be wanting to date you. Okay. Um, interesting little messages there. Let's move on to the tarot and see what else it is that you need to know. What does Virgo, what else does Virgo need to know? Okay. All right. So you've got a queen of wands showing up here in March. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Um, he or she, male or female energy, very bold and courageous um okay so i you know what it's weird it feels like she's showing up and she's like drama free okay she or he this fire sign is showing up drama free okay um 
interesting. Uh, you know, usually when we have the five of wands in the upright, um, there's usually an energy of like challenge or sport or obstacle or rivalry of some sort. If you're competing in something in March, it looks like um, you're going to be the victor. Okay, maybe somebody's a race car driver. I feel like you're going to be the victor. You're going to be the winner. Fireworks, definitely. Trophies coming in, which is an interesting kind of thing. Um, I don't know who this person is to you, Virgo, but it feels like this person may have come across as very competitive or was always competing with you for something, um, trying to one-up you or outdo you. This could be someone that you work with, or this could be your sister, or it could be a lover, could be a brother. Whatever the situation is, this is like, I don't want to fight. I'm, I'm not going to argue anymore. I feel like somebody, whoever this person is, they're kind of showing up here, like ready to change um, and to kind of bring peace into a situation. It feels like they they're not, I don't know, they're not competing with you anymore is what I feel like. Either you win <laughs> or they just can't compete with you anymore. They might be exhausted or they're tired. Okay, what else is going on? What else does Virgo need to know here? Okay, so you definitely have your dukes up in March. Oh, pushing back on a love offer here. For sure, you're getting a romantic love offer coming in from someone. Um, but you've got boundaries up, Virgo. You are um, kind of, I don't know, Virgo. It's like, nope, I want to be single and free. I, Virgo, I kind of feel like you're, any love offers that come in for you in March? Yeah, you're... <sighs> I feel like you, you just want to go out solo. You just want to be on your own. You're not accepting any love offers, okay? Or proposals or any kind of like, here, drink this magic potion and let me like love you to sleep. <laughs> You're just like, nope, nah, you can drink it. Nope, um, I'm traveling, I'm journeying, um, I'm on an adventure, I'm single, um, I'm taking new chances elsewhere, I'll take my chances elsewhere, <laughs> that's what I hear, you, you're kind of like, eh, nah, I'll, I'll go find a new beginning elsewhere, uh, I don't know if you're just not interested in somebody, it could be a Pisces, or it could be an Aquarius, or they're on the cusp, um, February 20th, 21st, yeah, Virgo, it looks to me like you're just like, nope, nope, no thanks, go away get out my face <laughs> nope go away all right so you're definitely pushing back on a love <clears throat> proposal or romantic like um how do i want to say it like a i guess like a prince or princess charming you have your dukes up like no i'm not drinking that shit i'm gonna put a little little something gonna um uh, drop a molly in my drink or something nope get away <laughs> i don't know i don't mean to say that in it like but seriously that's what i feel like somebody's gonna like slip a mickey in your drink and try to lull you to sleep or not literally figuratively okay yeah because somebody's coming in virgo you have your eyes open you're like i see that knight of wands coming in with that passion and that lust virgo's like nope yeah, I don't know. I don't know that it's that you're not interested or attracted to somebody. I, uh, like, I, I feel like this is someone who's attracted to you and you're just like not really into them. Yeah. Um, and they might be trying to like, especially in March. Um, even though I said some of you might be having a long distance love affair, short term kind of thing. Um, somebody here might be going for it. But anything like this person, I feel like might be like, oh my gosh, I want to see you again. I want to marry you. Or I, I, I really want to be with you. And Virgo, like whatever, male or female, or just like, nah, no, 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 I, I'm not. And uh, listen, <laughs> you, you might connect with this person and not do anything, but it's kind of like, I don't know. This, this person seems to come across like very mushy and gushy. And I don't know if it like, is just they come across too needy or something virgo you just they're kind of like mm, yeah i'm just not really into it that's okay thanks um okay so you've got the knight of swords also showing up here what else is coming up here oh you're getting something in the mail it's coming in pretty damn fast okay huh all right death card in the reverse so 
Yeah, you're not going to have to wait. Um, hold on a second. Okay, sorry, I had to blow my nose. So the thing that I think you've been waiting for, or some, a person, place, or thing may have told you that, yes, it's we're going to send it through the mail, um, but it's going to take like five to six weeks or six to eight weeks. It's going to take a while. Something that was determined to take a while, uh, turns out it's actually going to get there a lot quicker. So whether this is like a bank deposit or a return or a refund or... Um, a piece of paper or a letter or something that has to be delivered I feel like it's going to come in really quick um, unexpectedly quick okay uh, yeah this might be some money because I feel like you might you're dependent on this nine of uh, pentacles in the reverse so I kind of feel like you've been waiting for some kind of money or something to come in um, Maybe there was a financial setback. Oh, for some of you, it could be your taxes also, where they're like, oh, it's going to take forever, or you, you're not sure if you, uh, I don't know, some people do direct deposit or just like easy, fast check rebate or something. It's going to come in a lot quicker. Okay, so if you're kind of like, you know, you got no food in the cabinet and you're really low on gas or you can't pay a bill, I feel like it's going to be okay. It's going to come in a lot sooner, so you're going to just make it. <laughs> Yeah, you're going to just make it. As you can see, you guys, I'm kind of not doing love right now too much. I want to kind of touch on a little bit of everything, if I possibly can, for you. Okay, what other message is there? All right. So, definitely an awakening happening. Let's see. What is this about? What's this about for Virgo? What's coming to light? Hmm. Hmm. Wow, you're definitely going to have a light bulb aha moment about something you've been trying to understand and you haven't been able to understand. You've been really blocked, Virgo. You've been very blocked, okay? Um, so I, they're just giving me, like, you know when you're putting a puzzle together, you're doing the pieces, you're doing the pieces, and then you, you start getting kind of, like, blocked and you can't figure out where the piece goes. You, you've been, you need, you haven't been able to take a break and you need to take a break so that you can come back refreshed start all over again so you have like a new set of eyes to see what you're trying to solve whatever you're learning or whatever you're working on or you're doing um i feel like take that break right if, if you're doing something if you've been writing for a while um you're losing the plot if you've been doing anything creative or working on something and you're you have to always take breaks or else you get clogged so I feel like go and take that break from whatever that thing is you've been doing, or if you're stuck at an impasse and you can't solve something, it's going to just come to you when you take the break. It's like when you're trying to recall a memory and the harder you think about it, it's on the tip of your tongue, the harder you think about it, the harder it is to access. So then you just kind of distract yourself and go do something else and then it comes to you instantly, right? It's about release. So whatever you're doing, especially in this month that you're tr trying to solve or figure out spirit is saying just back off of this back off it will come to you you it will be revealed to you that's what car that's what judgment is it's revelation <clears throat> okay what else what else does virgo need to know oh okay i'm like oh we're not talking about love but here's the lovers Okay, and Six of Pentacles. Cards don't want to come out. And, okay, wow. Um, just so you know, your ex, for those of you who this is very specific, your ex who is paying either child support or paying for the kids is still very much in love with you. Okay. <clears throat> If you have kids that are, you know, receiving child support from your ex, whether it's a male or a female, it doesn't matter. They are still very much in love with you. And I know some of you are like, what? Yeah, little secret. Hey, that's the thing about tarot. Yeah. Um, do they want to be with you? I mean, I don't know. I'm not so sure. I'm just picking up the feelings. Maybe they can't. They might already be married, but yeah. 
they're still they still think about you like crazy they still have feelings oh yeah there's the four of wands definitely any chance they get to see you drop the kids off pick the kids up um even if you don't if the kids are grown there's no child support whatever they find excuses or reasons to still talk to you um they come to maybe some of you are still friends with this person this ex of yours and or you see them and they're friends of the family or they stay in touch with family members or they're there at sometimes at events um yeah they they're still longing for you okay all right why not <laughs> all right so you've got the devil card in the reverse which is awesome um this is a sign for some of you where if you've been battling some kind of an addiction um well there's recovery here definitely now it doesn't have to be you it could be you it could be somebody else there's recovery from uh, some of you are getting out of a a b u s i v e situation a toxic situation you're leaving a toxic situation getting back out there having some fun sexy times <laughs> but there's definitely recovery there's healing okay some of you are like whatever kind of addiction you might be trying to battle or break at this time um definitely it's it's coming to an end here you're going into recovery in march um say goodbye to your last drink <laughs> um for some of you maybe it's i don't know chocolate cake addiction i don't know what it is maybe it's shopping addiction whatever it might be i feel like you know you got a new pair of shoes here um, recovery comes you get enthusiastic about life because breaking the chains i feel like there's a break in the chains energy i mean some of you are like i don't need no chocolate cake i don't need that anymore i can live without it <laughs> i don't need those cookies i don't need to get that brand new outfit i can wait the, the urge leaves it's like the urge is gone so march you're gonna feel that pretty heavily and i see a lot of support around you as well um a lot of people calling you up um a lot of yep look at that a lot of people calling you up or communicating with you um wanting to get you out asking you if you want to do things be more active other things that you've been kind of putting off that you haven't been able to do because you've been feeling kind of trapped or stuck with some kind of if it's not an addiction it's just a habit that you're trying to get out of i definitely feel like you know even like i said if you're getting out of a toxic relationship you're recovering from that in march and like there's a whole new beginning happening here this ace of wands uh, kind of reminds me of like the torch is lit somebody comes in comes in with a match lights the torch it's ready to go getting your enthusiasm back your your um your gusto your thrills for adventure and happiness and joy and exploring okay yeah temperance so putting things into moderation that's pretty much it you know virgo it's it's like some of you are pacing yourselves. Um, some of you might not be going cold turkey, but whatever you're doing, you're um, just minimizing. You're, you're taking things in moderation. Some of you are like, you know what? I can't live without chocolate cake, but I'm going to commit to having it only on Saturdays. You know, some of you are doing that, okay? Um, for some, it's not a severe addiction. For some of you, it is just a, ha a bad habit. You're breaking some bad habits, which is awesome, okay? But you're, you're being fair with yourself, okay? Which is really important. Um, and also finding peace if you're coming out of a toxic relationship in March and feeling free, being set free in March and getting that peace again, okay? Feeling that that peace. Okay, let's see what else is coming up here for you. All right. You have the High Priestess. Wow. Intuit, intuitive, uh, intuitive recovery. Some of you going into rehab or retreating, um, working on your psychic abilities too, um, taking some time out to cultivate your psychic abilities. Okay, hold on. Some of you are hiding from someone who's stalking you. Yeah, or watching you. Or you're trying to hide so somebody can't watch you or can't see you. You're off the radar. You're off the grid in March for sure. Um you try not to be seen by someone but they the more you're hiding or the more you're off the grid the more they're looking for you okay that's craziness um some of you are secretly talking to one of your kids without letting others know 
I'm not sure what that means. You might be trying to have a relationship with a child or a grandchild, um, not a romantic relationship, you creeper. Um, trying to, it's a family member, or talking to an, an, a niece or a nephew behind the scenes um, who might be struggling with some problems or something, or you're trying to get a, like, this is a touchy subject, so I'm just going to say it and then move on. Trying to talk to one of your kids who maybe you couldn't talk to them before, or someone you couldn't, uh, uh, your kids are a, or a youth that you couldn't talk to before. Okay, I just saw the Ten of Swords in the reverse here, and I don't know where it went. All right, let me see. All right, you've got the tower. Okay, some upheaval. What's going on here? Oh, upheaval. Tower and the moon. Holy, 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 holy. Um, <clears throat> you know, there was a guy on Twitter the other day that I saw. He was able to predict. I don't know if you guys leave a comment if you know what I'm talking about. I don't remember his name, but he was able to predict the earthquake in Turkey by the alignment of the planets. He, he, he uses planetary alignment. Um, you know, when all the planets align in powerful ways, like when we have like the moon and Jupiter and Venus all together, not exactly that, but he has some type of scientific way of looking at the planets and their effect on, on each other and how um, certain planetary alignments cause um, certain events here on Earth. And I don't know why... Uh, I do know why that just came to me because the moon and this event here, um, there must be something coming up again is what I'm predicting. Not just for you specifically, but this feels like an overall message. Um, yeah, there, there's some kind of um, some kind of planetary event here that, that I feel could be reminiscent of some kind of an earthquake or some kind of a, a, an earth event. I don't know where. Um, huh, that's weird. Now they just said the Tower of Babel. Tower of Babel? Leaning Tower of Pisa is going to come down? I don't know how that's possible because I think they have that fixed, but um, it must be in Europe, somewhere over there in Europe. Okay, I'm just going to leave that there because I don't really know what's going on there. It, it's related to the moon or... Uh, okay, hold on. Oh, um... Wait a minute. Um, March 15th, maybe? Um, sometime between the 15th and the 18th. Okay. So, a couple of weekends. Yeah. Like the week of... Uh, so, the week of like March 12th through the 18th. Okay. Hope everyone's safe. Be safe. Okay. Now, that's only specific to you if maybe you're in those areas that I just mentioned, but I can't be 100% sure. Um, all right, you have the Six of Wands. Tower of Babel, that's not even a thing. It's Tower. It's something called Tower. Something where there's a tower, um, famous tower. Um hold on famous famous tower because the first thing i thought it was a leaning tower of pisa but that tower is not exactly on that card leaning it's yeah all right let's just leave it okay it's definitely an event a world event uh or a weather event okay you have the six of wands virgo let's get back to you said that it was going to be short, so I'm going to finish this here in like five minutes. The Six of Wands. All right. And the Seven of Cups. Um, um, there's good news coming in about a fantasy or a dream that you've been having. Uh, either that it's going to come true. Uh, if there's a dream that you had, if you're one of those people that says, you know, every time I dream about stuff, it comes true. Okay, well, if this was a good dream that you had, I feel like it's it's going to come true. Okay, you've got the five of cups. So 
you may have felt like, no, maybe there was like um, some kind of betrayal or something ended and you had a dream, you and someone that you're in love with or that you both love each other, got back together. It's like, I feel like that's going to come true for you in March. I, I revert back to yesterday's reading because I think it has a lot to do with that as well. Um, any other messages for Virgo? Okay. Seven of Swords. King of Pentacles. All right. Somebody's going to get caught stealing, either from your work or, uh, or connected to you. Okay. Oh, look at that. King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. Holy sh... Um, they're going to deny it. They're going to say it wasn't them. And they're going to do it with ease. They're going to say it that, that it, it wasn't them. Maybe you catch them. Um, or you and the person you're with catch them. Or maybe it's like a work partner. Um, or there's like... Or be careful if somebody accuses you <laughs> of this. Um, like be as open and honest as you can. Okay. Um, that's interesting. Um, if you're stealing anything, Virgo, watch out. I'm, uh, I'm talking to those of you who have like, I don't know, maybe you took a couple of pens from the office drawer. I don't know. Be, op be open and honest <laughs> or go put them back as fast as you can. Um, I, I feel like that message is for someone who's actually doing it not those of you who are innocent okay this is a message for someone who's like he stole somebody's lunch out of the fridge i don't know maybe it's small time big time i don't know what's going on but you know if it's you fess up if not there could be um someone connected one or two people connected to you who are going to get caught and get in a, a, lo a boatload of trouble here okay so you have the nine of cups okay so somebody's going to what i like to say okay yeah you're definitely going to get some kind of an invite um it's delayed but it will come in maybe by the end of march um either you're going to get asked to cater a party or to come to a party okay i'm seeing like a huge kind of like a catering table lots of food could be somebody's uh, parents or family wedding anniversary or a wedding in March um, or some kind of a family get together. We've got a rainbow here, so it could have something to do with St. Patrick's Day um, as well. I'm just picking up. Um, it could also be a same sex marriage of some sort that you're going to be attending. Also, um, there may be uh, a delay, but somebody is adopting a child or adopting a baby, and there there will be news about that. It's it's coming. It will be a delay, but it's definitely a wish coming true, whether that's you or another person. Okay, um, let me say these are so many crazy messages. Um, I'm just gonna get one more, and then I'm gonna end it because um, my head is like swimming. All right. Oh, wow. You've got the magician. Okay. I love that. I love when the magician shows up in the readings. Um, <coughs> let's see. Uh, things are turning. Visions turning into reality. So similar to that dream kind of thing that I was talking about. Okay. All right. Wow. Your burdens magically lifted. Love that. Your burdens just with the swipe of a wand, poof, they're gone. Uh, you're going to feel that. You're going to feel that shift. Do you remember that shift, some of you, when we went from metal music to grunge? It was almost like overnight. That's the shift you're going to feel. Very similar. Went from point A to point B. It was like 9-11. We went from point A to point B. It was just a major shift. And those things happen, and they come in waves throughout the time periods and they come in different forms you know um on a on a social mass level um but for you especially you're going to feel this shift now let me see here just a little more information about that there's definitely coming to the end of a struggle and you will have the midas touch going forward all right look at that two of pentacles you see this might be something to do with money here as well because we have a a, a glowing a glowing infinity what comes around goes around virgo and what goes around comes around 
if you've been in like a struggle situation financially or something going on, you know, where you've had to make a decision. Um, yep, there you go. Two of Wands. Things that you ha wanted to plan to do. It, I just feel like the the weight of on your shoulder is going to be gone. Uh, you might be asking um, for an, e an ease of burdens. Okay, I feel like the prayers are being answered, that's for sure. And this Three of Swords, some of you might be in a heartbreak or feeling um, maybe there's an argument. Some of you could have an argument with someone in March. Okay, and then I'm going to finish. I keep saying that. Going to have an argument in March with someone. Let me see. Okay, a friend, past friend, someone from the past, an old friend or a sibling. Um, tell me about this argument. Oh, beautiful. But it'll heal up pretty quick. New love could be an argument or a broken heart with a past lover. That's healed. There's a new start between the two of you. It's like a blessing coming in. I mean, I just try to mix up all these messages for you guys because I know sometimes you just want to take a break from love and see what else is going on in your life. Um, I think that's fair. So, yeah, there's definitely a reconciliation. And um, if you go to yesterday's reading, if you didn't hear it, um, that whole reading is about this right here. Okay, um, definitely. So I feel like there's going to be um, some healing, a blessing coming in, either with a past lover or a past situation, friend, family member, an argument or something, a split up or divorce or breakup, separation, whatever it is, um, it's going to be okay. I feel like things are going to get back on track between you and your siblings or other people or friends or a lover or lovers, <laughs> whatever floats your boat. All right, Virgo, I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to go take some allergy medication and just disappear. <laughs> so I'll see you guys back here tomorrow for your weekend uh, love reading, your weekend reading, love, general, everything. Have a great night, and I will catch you guys later. Bye.